A fundamentalist Egyptian cleric insisted again today that he had nothing to do with the bombing of the World Trade Center in New York. Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman also denies knowing two men charged in the bombing who reportedly worshipped at a mosque where he preaches. CNN's Charles Feldman has more on the cleric's interview with CNN. The blind cleric, Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman, says neither he, nor his mosque, nor his religion would tolerate terrorism. This is a false uh, accusation that uh, these people who bombed the uh, World Trade Center, they are my followers. These are false accusations. The Sheikh said he does not know either Nidal Ayad or Mohammed Salome, the two men charged in the bombing, although anyone is welcome to worship with him. They can pray in any mosque, but there is no any connection between me and the ban. And don't show me to all the world that have been accused. But this man, Mahmoud Abu Halima, now considered a suspect, is said to be close to the sheikh. I, I don't know him and I don't know where he is. Abu Halima is a cab driver who may have fled to Pakistan after the bombing. He Reportedly, he was once the sheikh's personal driver. I don't have a car, so that how come he drive a car that I don't have? Sheikh Rahman said his religion, Islam, does not condone attacks on buildings or civilians. Uh, indeed, Allah, uh, God, uh, does not like those who transgress. But he did have harsh words for the Mubarak government in Egypt, which he called corrupt and oppressive. They control Egypt with fire and iron. And they control uh, Egypt with a police, uh, in police, with a police state and force. Is Iran or anyone else paying for the words that do stir unrest in Egypt? There is no any relation between us and Iran, and there is no any money. Uh, we have received from any government in the, in the, the United States is trying to kick the sheikh out of the country, but he says the land of God is very large. Tens of nations will receive me. And even if the sheikh may have worn out his welcome with the U.S. government, it could be years more before the courts force him to leave. Charles Feldman, CNN, special assignment, New York.